maiden sail of the Volantex Compass. I do have wetsuit and fins and snorkel just in case I have to go and retrieve it. So, we're turning the transmitter on, turning the model on. Make sure everything's working. That was clever. Walk into the water. Gonna have to get deeper. And even deeper. No, still ooh, wants to go. Just need a little bit more depth. We're away, but we're touching the ground. Ah, don't worry about my wet pants. I'm not sailing. Now we're right. Ooh, steering up there. Pulling the sails in. Oh, this is cool. Tacking back. Ah, this is great. Bearing away. Why isn't the jib letting out? Oh, it's hooked. There we go. Trouble is, it stays at this depth for quite a way. There we go. Let the sails out. Let's go downwind. And it's goose winging nicely. Pulling the sails in to come back up towards me. Nice. Tacking. Tacking over. Lovely. This is working well. It's going downwind away from me now. Steer it around. Feel like I need more rates on the rudder. This is perfect. Tack. Turn it around. Pull the sails in a little bit. There's a nice gust. Get the speed going. Big gust healing it over. So you sort of need to be in knee deep water. Ah, oh, we've got a big lump of weed on it. <laughs> I've lost control of it because this is the problem with sailing in the sea, you get lots of weed on it. Didn't want to do what I wanted to, it to do. Alright, we'll head back the other way. Alright, so I'll head in this way more. This is good, heading downwind, jibing around. Pull the sails in to come back upwind. It's better staying close anyway. Tacking across. Running, goose winging, heading straight downwind. Jibe onto a reach, pull the sails in. Give it a speed going. Point up into the wind. Keep pointing up until the sails start flapping like that. Bear away a little bit. Tacking now. 
over onto the other tack so I can make headway upwind. Sails are shaped not too bad actually. Bear away onto a reach, right back to a run so it goes into the goose wing. Cool! This is fun! That's reaching now. It's pointing up, pulling the sails right in. Tacking back up towards myself. Of course, I'll create a wind shadow. Might see that right about now. There we go, that's my wind shadow. See, it sits up. Tacking it across. How cool is this? I think I could. Uh, flatten out the sails a little bit, so I'll pull those along. See how that goes. Might be better in the strong wind. Yeah, that's actually sailing a bit better now with a flatter sail. That looks great. Whoops, I think we got some weed on. Got my little uh, thi T5E just sort of uh, with a bracket taped onto the mast. Makes it very awkward to sail with, but I can get some cool shots, I think. Big banjo shark there. Well, little, little banjo shark. Harmless little stingray. Not even a stinger.
So that was a lot of fun, really enjoyed that. The only hassle I had was uh, not finding water that was really deep enough. I kept running aground and I kept uh, hooking up weed on the keel and when it hooked up weed on the keel the boat would just sort of keep sailing uh, and you couldn't turn it so it could have just sailed away from me so I had to chase after it. The rudder servo seems a bit dodgy to me, it's sort of jittering and jumping. Easy matter to replace the servo there, it's sort of just a couple of screws. Uh, I think I can put a stronger or a better quality servo in there for, there for the rudder. Winch works nicely. There was uh, a little bit of water inside, just some dribbles. They may have sort of just dribbled in from the top when I took the hatch off. You wouldn't want any salt water to get onto the servos and the receiver there. So you need to pay attention to um, waterproofing. Don't think the water can get in anywhere else. Maybe around the mast step here. Uh, I'd have to check that out, but great fun, great fun. Uh, when I put the camera up the mast, it made it a bit difficult to sail. It was sort of top heavy and kept wanting to heel over too far. Uh, but I had to do that to get some nice onboard shots as usual. It probably wasn't the ideal site where I was sailing. Uh, you had to sort of walk out from the beach a fair way and uh, too much weed and stuff like that. And the salt water isn't very good for it as well. I can just imagine if you found a nice uh, freshwater pond where you could sit down on the bank with a nice shady tree, uh, it would just be heaven. So there's the Volantex Compass RC Yacht. Works nicely, looks great. Probably a good choice for your first RC Yacht, I think. Thanks for watching.